Is it on? Oh. Hi. Um, so I just wanted to do a really quick video on uh, my hair because I just came back from um, the speed dating event and I am wearing makeup because I don't normally wear makeup. Um, and my hair is straightened, uh, Dominican style. So I have curly hair. And what happens is I've been relaxing my hair for over 20 years. And um, I just realized that I don't want to do it anymore. Like every time I go to the salon and I see people with like patches of hair missing and their hair is really thin, I think it has to do with the fact that they do their hair a lot and um, they relax it. And I don't want that. Also, I have a strong feeling because I do want to have children soon. I don't know with whom because I haven't met them yet. But uh, I have a feeling they might have my texture hair. And I remember how difficult it was for my mom to deal with mine. So I want to make sure that I can um, handle that. You know, if, if my little boy or girl has my texture hair, I'm not like, what am I going to do? And they look, they look crazy because I don't know what I'm doing. No. Um, also, I want to see what I'm supposed to look like. Like, what did God want me to look like? Because I've altered that. And I'm okay with that because I love my straight hair. One thing I've learned is with curly hair, you have to do it every single day. Like, with this, when um, I get my hair, I put my hair in curlers. I dry it under the dryer and then I have it blown out, right? And even when I take out the curlers, it's just like, whoosh. They have to, like, you know, blow it out. Dominican salons. Only Dominican salons can do that for my hair. Um, and I know a lot of other people's hairs. So I praise the glory of the Dominican salon. You guys have my thank you. Thank you for everything that you guys do. Let me just go to the second because I don't want to stop because it's for the back of my back. Um, but it's like really straight and it's, it's nice and it's flowing and I don't have to do anything. When I go to bed, I just do this, right? And then I take like um, some kind of scarf and I just wrap it. And then that's it. And then I take it out and it looks like this. And then like for about three or four days. I wash my hair once a week. I don't care. Don't judge. I don't smell. Who cares? I have dry hair. So if I wash my hair every day, I wouldn't have any hair and it would be frizzy and gross. Um, I don't have oily hair like most people do. So I don't have to wash my hair so frequently. Um, and it's not dirty because I don't sweat. I'm not like at the gym or doing all this crazy stuff. Like I'm a very cool, calm, demeanor person. So... I'm okay. Um, but, I know, right? My mom's like, why are you saying all of that? Like, I know she's... Anyway. Um, but I like it. And it's easy. And then when, when, I, when I don't like this side, you know, or like it's not... It's getting choppy on the bottom, I just put the hot curlers in my hair, which I have other videos about. Um, and then it brings that, the, the zhuzh back, you know, and I get like this bouncy kind of like full thing. But I, I personally prefer it straight and flat. Uh, for now, I like the way it looks, um, but I also like the, the puffy looks every now and then. Uh, I will have some videos in the summer where my hair is curly. Right now, my hair is about, it's been a year, a year, a year and a half. It's like that much my hair, like natural hair, and then the rest is relaxed. So I had to cut it because it was breaking at the line of demarcation where the relaxed hair meets the um, natural hair. It was breaking so much that when you saw my hair, my hair was like here. But it was just like very thin here, like it only looked like a couple of strands, like, you know, because it had all broken and it was all up here. So when I cut my hair, it made my hair look fuller and like there was so much more going on. I personally really love this cut. I never thought in my whole life, I remember cutting my hair in high school, I was like, I hated it. Now that I'm an adult, I'm like, I look cute. <laughs> I like it. So for you guys that are doing the big chat, and this cut, this is what she told me too, is good for somebody with a long oval face. This cut does not look good on somebody with a round face or a square face or a heart shaped face. This is specifically the cut for oval, long, I have long, look at my forehead. The entire bangs look four, four finger, four finger forehead, it's long and it's oval, you know. So talk to your hairstylist and find out what is the best hairstyle for you. Don't just cut your hair because you're like, I like the haircut, like no. There's reasoning behind it. You have to look at the shape of your face and your head. Some people have a big head. Some people have a narrow head. Some people have a small head. Some people, you know, don't have, you know, this. So it, it would look weird because it would stop right there. Do you know what I mean? So just make sure that you're getting the best haircut for you. 
don't try to be like other people and be like, I want to look like that person. You, maybe you can't look like that person, you know, but why not be the best you that you can be and still look fabulous? Um, <clears throat> so I wanted to talk about that. Second thing, when. I only use one in my hair when I can, um, which I have a lot of one in my house. But I don't like using it all the time because I feel like if I do use just when and when only, my hair just feels greasy and heavy. And even if I wash everything out, like they tell you, like, just too much. I do need to, like, wash the when out kind of thing. When by Chaz Dean, W-E-N, is a brand of uh, conditioning, cleansing conditioner, where that's all you use. You don't use shampoo with sulfates and you don't use shampoo with bubbles. You just use when. And it's a conditioner, kind of texture. You put it in your hair. You rub it in and then you wash it out and then you do it again for the conditioning so one is for cleansing the other one is for conditioning um, I usually leave the conditioner on and then go to the salon and then they wash it out and then they do my hair which is what I did with this this is what it looks like because my hair is so dry and especially when you're growing your natural hair out because curly hair is dry it's not oily straight hair is oily curly hair tends to be dry because when it's curly all the oils that come out of your scalp have to travel down the curl Whereas when it's straight, it just goes straight down, you know? That's why a lot of people with straight hair have to wash their hair often because it gets really oily. Whereas people with oily hair usually have oily scalps and like it's oily right here but not on the bottom. So sometimes you have to double treat it. There's just so much with hair. Um, so I decided to, I babbled a lot at that point, to um, just leave it straight while it's growing out. And then once it starts growing, I'll decide if I want to leave it curly. Ultimately, I would love to leave it curly and just like, you know, but um, it's whatever works best for me. Right now, the reason I like it straight is it's easy. And that's why I always straighten it because with curly hair, you have to wash it every day. Like, I know there's people that do second day and third day, and you know what? Some of those people don't look good. They think they look good, but they don't look good. And that's just my opinion because other people will be like, girl, you look famous, and they really mean it. Um... But I don't like it. You know, I watch a lot of these YouTube videos. I'm like, this is my second day hair. This is my third day hair. And I'm like, oh. You know. Um, and if you're offended, then you probably know what your situation is. Because I didn't say anything about anybody. I just said in general. But with the straight hair, it's just easy. I wake up and I go. You know, the longest thing that it takes is to put the curlers in. Um, which I'll, like, put them in. And then while I'm getting ready, I take them off. And then I'm good to go. It's so easy. I know when I have a curly hair, I will probably wear, uh, probably be wearing a lot of hats. Um, you know, you really can't do much with short curly hair. You have to kind of. Oh, sorry, it's really late. It's like it's like eleven o'clock. I'm like a baby. Um, I do. I go to bed by like midnight unless like my roommate's here, and then we're like up till four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> anyway, um, I miss them. So, my hair, I forgot, it happens all the time, curly hair when, oh, with curly hair. So if I have curly hair, I fear that it's not going to look good. Also, the one thing I've learned about curly hair is uh, if you straighten it, which is what I'm doing, you like I, I'm training my hair to be straight. So like as it's growing out, I'm training it that when it's straight, stay straight. You know, and it does. You know, it will frizz because it's naturally gonna want to go back to its curly state. But I'm training it to be straight. Now, if I decide to go curly and I leave it curly, curly, curly all the time, it's gonna take a while. It's not gonna look good for a couple, maybe like a month or two, before the curls start forming again and staying that way. Because right now the curls like, but you want me to be straight. So I'm going to be straight right now. Oh, now you want me to be curly. Okay. No. You know, that's what the curl's doing. And then after you keep curling it, curling it, and leaving it natural, it's going to start going okay. And then it's, it'll start forming the curls the way that you want them to be. But in the beginning, it's not going to look like that. In the beginning, it's going to be like wavy or like a, uh, like terrible because you've been straining it for so long. And, the, and your hair believes that you want it to be straight. So I'm, it's going to be a transitional phase this whole process but for all you girls that are going natural this is what I'm going through I'm leaving it straight I go to the salon get my hair done in the winter I mean in the summer when I start swimming I will leave it curly but you can you know like I can't put my hair in a ponytail like I could do it like this but like when it's curly in a ponytail it's gonna look weird um so I'm gonna be, I am gonna be wearing hats in the summer to just cover it up because I'm, I'm not really trying to do a lot um 
But that's it. I just wanted to talk about hair. I don't know where these things come from. I just wanted to talk about it. So, 